Hello, welcome back. It is Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. Hopefully everybody has got some good plans, and if you're traveling right now, hopefully you're making it to your destination safely, uh, depending on where you are in the country weather-wise. But as it is Wednesday, what I'm going to open, and also what I'm thankful for, is some football. Some sage, uh, sage artistry to be precise, and... Um, just uh, for the record, this was not how it came packaged, but I used the self-checkout scanner at uh, Target when I bought it. And as you can see, it uh, was like that and would not scan, so I had to do a little impromptu surgery. But either way, I am thankful for football, and I'm thankful for all of you guys continuing to uh, just be a part of this and be supportive. And just thankful that I stumbled into this community. But inside we have two autographs and one quote-unquote canvas insert in every box. Look for randomly inserted next-level debut autograph cards. Well, obviously, that would be one that we would want. But C.J. Stroud, up and coming next year, who knows? But into, we, into it we go. We got... Hmm, weird, interesting-looking packaging. Oh, okay, so it's just clear packaging. So what do we have in here? Uh, okay, this package contains 50 base cards of the 2022 Sage Artistry set, two autograph cards. Okay, so I'm going to look for... Okay, so this is the two autographs and the canvas insert pack. So we'll put that over there. Also, look for randomly inserted cards. Well, you know what? That is exactly what we're going to do on the floor so we got one two three four five packs plus that so i'm going to assume 10 per but let's get into it let's see who we got and let's see how they're doing both the rookies and the uh the college youth i love the design so far right here starting off well uh big name hopefully um he holds off had a little bit of a shaky start so far this year but malik willis but he's still a good one. Bailey Zappi, who looks like he might uh, be moving up in the quarterback ranking for the uh, the Patriots. God, these are nice looking. Jermaine Johnson. Yeah, I love the artwork. These are going to make for some good TTMs, I think. Brian Asamoah. Damon Clark, and some of these names I'm not going to remember. Okay, so now we got the Silvers. I remember they do silver inserts. Jahan Dotson on the silver. I'll put the silvers over here, and then we'll go through it in a minute. Kyle Hamilton, shout out to uh, Callie and Jordan squad. David pulled a really, really, really awesome looking Kyle Hamilton autograph in one of his videos. Go check that one out. Kyron Williams again on the silver. Jaquari Robers Roberson Robertson? Nah, he's Roberson now. There we go. Chris Olavi been having a good season so far. I gotta say, you know what? I'll put him up there. He was a first rounder. Keontae Ingram, an upside down, Zamir White, and now an upside down, Steelers, now probably uh, University of Iowa, yep, University of Iowa, Tyler Goodson, but actually that's the reason why um, the University of Iowa colors are black and gold, I think it was when, um, as I opened, struggled to open this, who was it, Hayden Fry came in, I believe? Wanted to change the uh, the persona of it, so he reached out to the Steelers specifically because at the time in the 70s, the Steelers personified what he wanted his teams to do, and that's how uh, Iowa uniforms looked a lot like the Steelers. Many Steeler fans in Iowa, too. Pierre Strong Jr. in pack number two. Tyler Batty? Batty? Body? Not sure. DeLaren Turner Yell. Logan Hall. That's a cool-looking picture. That is a cool-looking picture. Jordan Davis, another first-rounder uh, for the Eagles. I think he's banged up a little bit, but a lot of promise out of him. Now to the Silvers. Kate Otten. Ja'Shawn Corbin. Here we go. Bailey Zappi again. That's my boy, Kenny Pickett. I gotta say, the Steelers had... Um, they lost to the Bengals on Sunday, but... Um, I liked, there was some pretty good improvements. The team is starting to gel. Najee Harris had almost 100 yards, and things are looking promising. Mackenzie Milton, Zaquandre Wright, and Jerome Ford. 
So let's let's speed it up a little, Zach. You're talking too much. Talking too much here. Ooh, we got some good ones on the back. Here we go. Tyler Al Algier, Algier, Drake London. He's been. He was a high pick. Brad Hawkins, Darian Kendrick, Theo Jackson, Grant Calcata Calcaterra on the silver. Jareth Stearns on the silver. Bailey Z it's a Bailey Zappy box, and I'm not mad at that. I actually just sent out to him. Here we go. CJ Stroud, an up and comer. We'll see. He did uh, kind of struggled a little bit over this uh, the past weekend, but still gonna be still gonna be a solid, solid football player. And Jahan Dotson, once again, pack number four. We're rolling, and I cannot wait to see the autograph and the uh, the quote unquote canvas. Khalil Shakir, shout out every Bills fan, because there's a lot of them. He's going to be part of the, that offense for a while. Another Chris Olave, but the, I guess the portrait one. Darian Beavers. Kingsley Enigbari? I'm not sure. I never, don't remember that name. Christian Harris. Bijan Robinson. Hook'em Horns. He's pretty good. He's he might be a pretty high draft pick this coming year. Michael Woods the second. John Mechie. Hopefully this young man gets well soon. I believe he was um diagnosed with a uh, leukemia, but it sounds like he's hopefully doing well. There we go. Had a big game on Sunday. George Pickens. That is until he got ejected, but that's neither here nor there. Brees Hall. Hopefully he can bounce back. He was having a really good start to the season for the Jets. Trey McBride. Jerry and Ely, another Tyler Algier, another Khalil Shakir. That's a really nice looking one. I like that one. And Jeremy Ruckert on the final one. Last pack magic, but we've already had some good ones. Paul Pickett, Olavi, Stroud, Malik, George. I'm happy. Another Brees Hall. Nice looking pictures. Brian Robinson Jr., Arnold Ebiketti, I think that's it, Ebiketti, yeah, Majai Sanders, Quay Walker, The Silver, Abram Smith, Matt Coral. hopefully your foot gets better because I can't wait to see what you can do, and The Silver, Drake London Portrait, Tyler Van Dyke, Desmond Ritter, who has been, uh, he was impressive in the few, few times I saw him so far for the Falcons, but uh, Mariota's doing pretty well, so we'll see what this young man can do next year. Snoop Connor, Pierre Strong Jr., Tyler Beatty, I guess. And now, what I've been waiting for. The autographs and the canvas. So let's kind of see if I can do this without looking, without showing too much. I think I've already ruined it, but tis what it is. Okay, so auto number one. Uh, do I have anything? Hang on, let me let me go get a little something. All right, found a convenient piece of cardboard for the first of the two autos. All right, looking like quarterback. Who is it? Jake Bobo. Cannot say I'm familiar with that name. Wide receiver transferred to UCLA for the 2022 football season. Oh, okay, so he is uh, still in college. All right, I'll have to see how he's been doing for UCLA. Always good to get uh, an auto, especially a pre-draft one. Uh, we'll do the other auto next, and then our canvas. What do we got here? 31. And we have Grant Morgan. Let's see what it says about Grant Morgan. A linebacker signed a free agent contract with Jacksonville. I'll check and see what he's up to with the Jags. Let's see how he's doing there, but very nice looking card. Another auto. Can't argue with an auto. I'm just saying. And finally, our canvas card. It feels very nice and maybe a silver. But it is very pretty. Pierre Strong Jr. And it's kind of kind of like the canvas in an upper deck for hockey. It has a very similar feel. 
but very nice. North Dakota State University, hometown Little Rock, Arkansas. Pierre Strong was drafted in the, by the New England Patriots in the f- round four of the 2022 20, NFL Draft. So there we go. We got us a Patriot. And I believe he's been playing not half bad. But that aside, that was my little blaster of sage artistry. I hope you enjoyed it because I am very thankful for it. A lot of cool looking cards. Some really beautiful artwork, I do have to say, on some of these. Like that Brees Hall. And uh, where was the... Yeah, the Drake London portrait there, but two autos, a canvas, and just a whole lot of fun. So hopefully everybody's well, settled in, getting ready for Turkey Day tomorrow down here in the States, or if you're up in Canada, getting ready for Thursday. Um, And we'll see what tomorrow brings to see if I'm going to continue to be thankful for this week if you catch my drift. So fingers crossed for me, we'll see you tomorrow.